Ray and Lourdes, good evening. With the legislature in Springfield set to take up new gun control measures, an anti-violence group is dishing out big money to get the package across the finish line. Call it their closing argument. My daughter, Alicia, was a very talented young lady. The anti-gun violence group Protect Illinois Communities has bought time on Chicago TV, cable, streaming, and digital with a mother's emotional plea to pass an assault-style weapons ban in Illinois. No parent should ever have to lose their child to gun violence. So the way I honor her is to stand up and speak out. We have to all wake up and protect all our children. Mary Deardonay Hill's 19-year-old daughter was away at North Carolina A&T studying computer science when a gunman opened fire at a house party near campus. Since that tragic day in 2016, Deardonay Hill has been on a mission. Whether this happens to my child or any child, somebody needs to speak out about it because I don't want a parent to feel what I feel. House Bill 5855 would end the sale of assault-style weapons and allow registration of existing weapons. It would also prevent sales of ammunition magazines holding more than 10 rounds, and it bans firearm sales to people under age 21. I'm from a military family, and I know what these weapons can do to people. These are not used to protect a family, to protect an intruder, to protect someone from harming someone. The Democratic-led majority in Springfield hopes to pass the measure next week or the week after. If this pass, this is an answer to my prayers. Gun rights advocates say this bill would make criminals out of law-abiding gun owners, and they say it does nothing to lift up the communities most affected by gun violence. Stay tuned in the coming weeks, Lord and